you dance. When I book this space, does that mean that nobody else is gonna be in these or? Can you look at it because that's not gonna work. I need to make sure me and my girls are real good. If I'm paying for this, like I want it to look good, you know? vlogs the vlog this vlog this particular vlog is the first in a series that i'm doing called making the dance because i'm making a dance i'm making a dance video if you are new here i'm a dancer thanks for stopping by would love to see you again and if this is your second time thanks for coming back i moved here about five months ago so i've been teaching dance classes here in atlanta and i've been posting them and that may be how some of you guys found me but I have been teaching and right now I want to like direct, you know what I mean? I want to get in my visionary bag, you know? So I am going to be making a dance concept video and working with some new girls and just putting some work out. I notice I feel better when I am putting work out, so that is what I plan to do. Today I am headed to the location that we're possibly filming at gotta see you know if it's gonna work in terms of size and all that kind of stuff so let's go because i'm running late i'm not running late i'm on time which makes me feel late because this traffic is nuts Let's do a little location scouting. I thought I left my tripod, which if I did, I wasn't going to beat myself up about it. But I didn't. So I'm glad I didn't. So now I need to go meet this guy. Oh, what's the man's name? Gabriel? Hmm. Thank you. Should I close this? Oh, or... uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, got you. Um, and then when I book the space, does that mean that nobody else is going to be in these? Or uh, uh, like if I wanted to do like some regular light and then some black light, how would that work? Right. Um, but as of right now, like it doesn't overbook a lot. Yeah. Okay. You know, we usually try to do it as soon as you leave, we'll have somebody else pop in type thing. Okay. Uh, it's very rare that we have people. Multiple people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is it all right if I like just take some measurements and write yeah, some stuff down? Okay. Yeah, it's, so they're tw it's twelve by twelve by twelve. Yeah, okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I 
I trust that Never had no trust uh, Keep a little bit of my glove I put a little bit of my chin I just got back in the car and I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm so glad I came to look at it because that's not going to work, which I already had a weird feeling about it because the photos that were on Pure Space. So Pure Space is the site that I use to find different spaces that I shoot in and stuff. Um, and so there's a lot of different like staging houses, stuff like that. So I just came to look at one of them today to see the, the set that I was possibly going to use, but I don't like it. It, um, for a couple of reasons, the guy who did the walkthrough for me, he's in his car and he's literally right in front of me and it's a little weird. He's just like sitting there. He wants to be on his phone. Yeah, he was on his phone. Um, when I saw the space on PR Space, I already felt a little bit mm, about it because of the lighting situation on the set. The lighting on the set is like black light, which looks pretty cool on like fair skin. I'm, I mean, based off of the pictures that I saw, but there were no photos of the studio on brown skin. So I'm like, obviously our skin is gonna reflect light way differently. So that's why I was like, I need to come here and see it and like take some photos in this space just to see, can I, would I be able to get anything good? And I don't think so. I don't think I like that. So that changes a lot of things. I'm big on like characters and like kind of building an idea off of a space. Like I don't like my dance to just look like I did it randomly somewhere in the middle of the street although for some people like that works man i broke another nail off when i was in there um but i want it to like look like it's supposed to be in the space that is taking place in you know like it was choreographed for that space so that changes things because i was choreographing for a specific space in my head and now that space has changed so i don't know i now have to go back up on pure space um the rehearsal is until thursday today's monday so i have some time to like change some choreo if i want to i haven't even tried the choreography yet in person um because i'm trying to kind of work on the choreography with the girls at the same time that i'm in the space with them so i don't want to set anything in stone without having their bodies you know because different things look good on different people and i'm not trying to force people to do something that doesn't really look right on them you know so hmm. 
that's a bummer my face I don't know if y'all can see is breaking out I think it's just this it's dry and I used um this face wash that my face doesn't really like and I used it two times in a row needless to say my face is upset with me okay oh I did bring I thought I left my emergency water bottle um at my friend's house this weekend but I did not Ugh, good to know because I completely forgot to bring water okay well that gave us some information we didn't have that's what this process is it's just figuring stuff out so now I'm going to head home I think I'm going to work on my treatment a little bit and maybe I'll show you guys that show you because now <laughs> the whole idea is different the whole idea has got to change that's not gonna work I want to feel confident about it and I don't feel confident about that And then the guy had a nerve to tell me, well, Jules Santana filmed a music video here and they just did it under black light and they had a bunch of people with, with dark skin. I was like, when was that shot? He said, like, maybe seven months ago. I'm gonna go look for it. I'm gonna go look for it because I'm gonna see if it looks good or not. Um, because he, they're probably filming on something different than me and my people are shooting on. I don't have them kind of cameras, you know? So, you know. It is what it is. Let's go home. So it is way later now. I don't even know what time it is. It is 5.58. I have my laptop right here. But I kind of ate a little bit, thought through some things, and so now I'm going to kind of work on a, I call it like my treatment, but like a vision board basically for the video. So I like to make these in Canva. I usually start off with like a black screen like this. Sometimes it helps to have black as the background. I don't know, it helps to look more cohesive. So I think I've kind of changed the concept of what this space, what it's gonna like, what the space is gonna look like, what the overall idea is gonna look like, but I have to essentially come up with the world in my head first. So I really liked how she had this bandana styled and I was thinking of using pinks in the final color scheme. I also know that it's going to be like a desert type scene. So like I said, this all this stuff you can find them on Pear Space. Obviously they're of varying prices. This is also a moment that I may want um, for one of the looks and stuff. And some people on Pure Space, they do better than others in terms of having like test shots on the website. I need to make sure me and my girls are gonna look good. If I'm paying for this, like I want it to look good, you know? I also found this video of FK Twigs, which is interesting because she moves a lot like how I do. So. I wanted to kind of take this as some, I guess, shape inspiration for the board. And so now I'm like trying to figure out, do I want to do contrasting colors, like a big difference in colors, or do I want to keep it more monotone, you know? Because this could look pretty cool. Like this taupey color in this room, it would still keep it as like almost like a deserty type of feel. As far as the silhouette, that's like the next thing that I'm trying to figure out, the silhouette of what the costuming is gonna be because having that stuff in my head helps me when I know I'm going to be choreographing. The size of the space matters as well. Like, not only was that spot that I would have shot in, you know, not the ideal lighting situation, but it also was really small, so that like hinders what the dance can be and how big it can move and you know 
This one looks like it's a whole room, so it gives us space to like try things. We'll have a nice amount of depth. I hate when all the shots look super close up. I know that can be done and that can look well. I just prefer some depth. And so I think that's what this is gonna give. I wanna, I'm just trying to think of more color that makes sense with the song. And then I was like, maybe I have to change the song. And if I have to change the song, I just don't know. I'm still gonna go look at the other place tomorrow though, just to be sure. Anywho, that's a very rough starting point. So I was watching my um, fire stick and it shows ads for different movies and this look kind of came up and I like this. Like I like the shiny reflective almost metallic looking crop thing but it still shows the chest the metallic i think like just even looking at this photo i like how that looks how it's going to look in the water how it's going to reflect the light um, but it still needs layers on top so maybe something on the top of the arm see see how it's starting to rack up <laughs> um so pop sirens, that's what we're trying to give. It's, it's coming together. Do I want the bandana still? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's gonna be too much. So yeah, we'll see. And I may just change my mind again. I could wake up in the morrow and hate this. Wake up in the morrow? Wake up in the morning and hate this too. Cause I'm not sold on it yet. But we'll, we'll just see what tomorrow holds. Low protein, low greens, low grits. I have to drive out to Doraville today to look at the second location. And honestly, I don't even think there's gonna be anything that I like there, but I'm going just in case. But that's like an hour drive, so. Gotta fuel up. So this is real um, random, but I'm starting to notice how big the trucking industry is over here in Atlanta, maybe in all of Georgia, because my God, there's trucks on the road all the time, all the time. Ugh, it was just like 10 of them in a row back there and you're just like trying to get from beside them, you know? Okay, I tried finding a spot where the sun wasn't doing this weird thing, but I, I couldn't. I don't know if I told y'all this or not, but I don't think I'm gonna like anything here, but I'm just gonna come and look and see anyway. And some of the sets that I may want to see, they may not even be built anymore. We shall see. Okay, so y'all, they didn't let me take my camera in there, which I understand. Um, I was correct. I wasn't in love with anything there. Also, <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. Whenever I do a project and like start talking to people who are in production, um, the dudes be talking to me like I'm dumb. I'm like, I know what you're talking about. I know how things are built. I know how wooden structures are created. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not dumb. But it was fine. He was, he was also probably a little... Um, so it's fine. Uh, but it's also a no. So let's go get something to eat and then go back home. Um, I have rehearsal on Thursday. And uh, until then, I have not scheduled to see the last location. So I may, I may not. Um, but if I don't, I still think I'm gonna like it anyway. I mean, I do need to go see it because I need to take measurements and stuff. Um, and I actually forgot my clipboard today, so I had to write it down on my phone. 
But anywho, um, so I have no idea what I'm going to get into for the rest of the day, but I'll pick y'all up later. As I'm sure y'all probably noticed, I took my nails off, but honestly, my natural nails right now, they're looking great. That's why I like the press-ons, because they were starting to get on my, when they started popping off yesterday, I was like, nope, time to go. And they don't destroy your nail underneath, like, gel -X and acrylic do. Um... Plus my nails just get really dry, so I can't have my nails covered that long. My nails will dry out and then they'll break off, you know? So, I am at the studio. I'm feeling a little nauseous little nauseous which means my girl flow is on the way that's fine uh so yeah first rehearsal with the girls today two of them i have never met before so this should be interesting i'm excited we're gonna be here only two hours you know just play around with some stuff most of them i haven't well half of them i've never seen my choreography on them so I want to see, you know, how that goes. Also just seeing if the group meshes well together. And I'm supposed to go see the location that I actually want to shoot it in. I'm supposed to go see that tomorrow. I'm supposed to go look at it tomorrow, view it tomorrow, tour it tomorrow, you know? So yeah, we'll see how this goes. But I'm feeling positive about it. Nobody's let me know they can't make it. So we're hoping everybody comes through. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, let's go inside. Hey, Carly. How are you? I'm going to Yeah, go ahead. Do what you gotta.
So today is the next day. It's Friday. And I'm here to look at this other filming studio place. If I'm being honest with y'all, I don't feel like being here right now. <laughs> Your girl's a little bit tired and a little sore and I just wanna chill, but this has to get done. So this, I'm, I'm here already. Um, definitely is giving a different vibe already from the other two and I'm not even inside yet. Um, so I'm excited to see it. I wanna make sure I get some you know, good measurements of spaces down, especially since I had the rehearsal last night with the girls and I couldn't help myself. I already showed them what the space looked like. So I kind of sold them on the idea already. <laughs> so now I really hope that this one works out, but also I've sold myself on it and I do think it will. I think it'll be good for it. Um, so yeah, I want to get down some measurements. What else do I want to do when I'm here? I wanna ask questions about lighting. I know they, a lot of different places, they'll do like lighting packages. So you book the studio space, but then separately you have to pay to use their lights and stuff. Um, I saw some photos online of the lights that certain people were using just of like, you know, their example photos. And I'm like, I have that. So I don't think I would have to rent those kind of lights. Um, so I wanna see if they can show me like what lighting equipment do you guys have? especially when it comes to like color because like I said I have colored lights but just to see what they have as well because um, I'm still trying to figure out uh, the person who I thought I was going to use as a DP by the way DP stands for director of photography so a DP is the person who is responsible for lighting the scenery they may also be shooting it on their camera they may not sometimes they just are doing the lighting and someone else is doing the filming I don't I definitely don't feel like DPing is my strength per se you know I do it for YouTube videos and stuff but for something like this I would rather someone else who that's their strength but also this is a passion project you know i'm not hiring people for a music video or anything like that so i may find someone i may not and if i don't i want to know that i can pull this off by myself so i have to have a little bit better of an idea of what i'm working with in terms of lighting last night in that studio that we were in it was four of us and one girl was missing it was my fault it was my fault it's not her fault that she didn't come I forgot to send her a reminder text and the time previous that I had texted her, we had talked about having a rehearsal for something and we had canceled. And so I was just like, oh, like let's get together next Thursday then. And she was like, okay, sure. But I never reminded her like, hey, we are getting together this Thursday. So it was very much my fault um, and that's okay. Uh, but there are gonna be five of us. Um, this is right now, I'm in the middle of like holiday time, obviously. So I know people are gonna be going away for Christmas and New Year and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm not gonna be having rehearsal for a little bit until January when we get back. So who's to say these girls will even be available? I don't know, but I'm staying positive about the whole thing, you know? So I do wanna make sure the space is gonna be able to fit five of us total. I have not decided yet if I am dancing in the whole thing or if, if I'm dancing in just certain parts because dancing in something and directing it is extremely difficult. But it's something I'm willing to do, but if I don't have to be in the whole thing, then I don't want to. <laughs> I'm like, y'all shine. Y'all look fabulous, fabulous. Do it, do the dance. Uh, last night, one, the, one of the girls was like, you have like gadgets and tripods for days. I was like, yeah, I do. Cause I need to be able to record stuff. Cause if I'm dancing, I can't see things. I need to be able to go back and look at things. So. Anyway, now I'm rambling. I will, um, I guess, see you guys in the next video in part two of this. I don't know yet if these are going to be posted back to back or if there's going to be videos in between them. But for right now, whenever I see you next, which hopefully will be soon, I hope you choose to come back. I will be delighted to see you and hopefully by then you will be a subscriber, okay? I would love to have you a part of my little internet fam. I'll see you guys in my next video next weekend. Later.